welcome back to the channel guys so today we're going to be doing a solar setup on our toy hauler well it's a car trailer but we're also going to be hooking up this winch to make it so we need to winch something up on the trailer it's there we can do it um we're also going to be doing that solar panel that's a 30 watt solar panel i believe 20 or 30 i think it's a 30 um we're doing a 300 watt pure sine wave power inverter so this power inverter puts out clean power which is good for my sensitive electronics phones laptop etc for when i need to do my video stuff for while we're out camping and riding and all that stuff so what we're gonna do is i made this plate off camera i made this plate and it's gonna mount to the trailer right like so and then the battery box or boxes if i can get them both there will mount right on top of it as well so what i plan on doing is moving this brake switch and we're going to move it to somewhere on the side of the tongue or something so it'll work uh, and be out of the way so let's get started on doing that we have some bolts we're going to go ahead and run right through forgot to get our tools guys so anyway, we got bolts. I'm gonna run right through there. All right, so we'll get these bolts tightened up just like so. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove this and set it off to the side. And we're gonna get our grinder and we're gonna cut that down and cut it flat. I wish this snow would cooperate with us. We got that done well guys yeah about that so i guess we'll have to progress another day all right guys so after that little storm escapade i decided we're going to play some right here just like so i'm going to center it up best we can this one's gonna hold the battery because it's heavier this one's gonna hold all the electronics so let's get started on drilling so there we go we got our first bolt in now we're gonna drill three more holes and do that and we'll be back all right so we got our boxes mounted this one is the main one i was worried about because it's going to be supporting that big battery this one I got two and one broken off there. It doesn't matter, it's just gonna hold electronics and keep them dry and safe out of the weather. But it ain't gonna go anywhere. It ain't carrying a bunch of weight, just a power inverter and some wires and some switches. This one, I think we're good to go. So let's get started on the next phase. Drop that in there like so. All right, so now we gotta run our, we got our cables ran to our winch. Let's get these cables in here. Kind of chilled out. We'll get them installed on here. Let's go ahead and get these cranked down tight. So we got our winch control block mounted here. And uh, these wires and stuff, they're just going to get tucked down into here, kind of shoved out of the way. Okay, guys. So we got everything wired up. I had to do some of it off camera because it's really nasty out here. We have a voltage gauge. Now, that gauge, I made it so it would stay on all the time since it really doesn't draw much. And uh, we'll have the solar on it. So we have USB ports, weather proof well i guess weatherproof let's hope that water stays out of there that probably wasn't down in all the way we also have a 12 volt plug hopefully again waterproof we'll see we'll just have to see how that goes i guess on there worst case we disconnect everything but the gauge there we'll see how it goes but 
Now, the winch kit that we got, it didn't come with a fuse. I wanted to have one fuse for everything. This thing does have an internal fuse by itself. That's the power inverter. This is our winch controller. We have all the power going to it and coming off of it. The winch does work. It's in neutral for testing purposes. So our plan is we're going to have the solar back here. And uh, we're going to leave that battery there for trailer brakes. I may get rid of that battery totally and move everything over to this battery. And then the truck will actually charge this battery if I do that. We don't need it because of the solar. So our next move is to get the solar panel and start hooking it up. We'll start doing that tomorrow, which will be the same video for you guys. So guys, I didn't show every little aspect of the wiring for that winch and everything, but I will show the, the whole wiring for the solar panel when we start hooking that up, which you'll see in this video. It'll just be the next day for me because it's getting dusk out here and I don't want to start a project and have to walk away. But at least we got that half of everything figured out. So the whole point of this is because we do a lot of dry camping. And with dry camping, we have to take the generator. I only like to take the, and run the generator at night, which charge everything. Well, instead of having to run it during the day just to charge cell phones, there would be plenty of power for a hundred people to charge their cell phones here off this trailer. I'm gonna charge you five bucks a phone. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just doing this because I like doing it. If anybody needs to charge their phone, guess what? There's a USB port right on the trailer. They just plug right in and it'll charge. So that's the point on that, having solar. And we'll have 300 watts. So if we need to, we can run a, a air compressor, like a small air compressor or small stuff like that. I could charge drill batteries if I need to, stuff like that. So instead of having to start up the generator every time, we will have this solar that will save us fuel also without having uh, to mess with the generator every single time. Also, I wanted to add, this is actually a handlebar switch for a four-wheeler for the winch. I turned it into a remote that, you know, will give me most of the length of the trailer, not all of it, but almost half of it. But I also put a nice wire loom over it and ran it all the way down the wire. So it actually looks nice too. Plus it will uh, help with, you know, catching, catch it on the trailer and all that stuff. It'll help from messing up the wire. And it looks nice. I think I did a good job. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, how you like that. Hi guys, it is a better day today outside here. Looking good, very nice weather. It's Ohio, could snow tonight. So I want to show you what we got going on so far. This was easy. I just took some hinges and mounted it to the solar panel. Now I will say this aluminum is thick and actually shocked me on this cheap solar panel. So really, really nice, thick, durable aluminum. And I put it on two hinges because I was going to mount it there, but it's just a little bigger than I anticipated. So won't be able to open up our toolbox unless we swing that open like so then then we can also it'll help me adjust it for the sun if need be depending if the trailer is facing that way but if not it'll lay here that'll be plenty to gather enough sun to do what we need to do these panels actually do very well in the shade and cloudy days anyway so with it facing straight up, it'll just kind of simulate a cloudy day. Not a big deal. We're not going to be using a ton of power. So what we have here is our little cheap solar charge controller. So our solar panel is going to actually come into this one right here. And the center one here uh, is going to go to our battery. These are the only two that we're worried about. This one don't really amount to nothing. I'm actually going to just leave it in there the way that it is. And instead of mounting this, I'm going to get some 3M sticky adhesive and mount it 
in the box like so but as for right now we're just going to toss it in there and and i'll do it at a later date because i don't have any so this plug will actually go over here to the battery side like so and then this we're going to run over to our battery so we're just going to want to put our positive on our positive negative on our negative now guys it would be ideal for this to be fused a fuse setup but it's not um and it's just a solar panel so i'm not too worried about it right at the moment it says battery low power out i don't i don't think the battery's low but let's take and plug in our solar which will come in right here and it's actually producing it's actually producing voltage so power in it's on we're going to take it and drop it down into here so wiring on this solar panel is actually pretty easy you can make it a little bit more cleaner and neater this is just a trailer i'm not trying to spend a ton of time on it but at the same time i want it to be functional all right guys so we got everything hooked up and wired in i took this 300 watt pure sine wave power inverter and i put it on a tether not super long um because the longer you go the thicker the wire i would need and i figure this is plenty so if it's raining i can take it and I can shove it somewhere where it's dry. Or uh, what I also I did was I put on these connectors, these quick terminal connectors. You can find these on Amazon. Everything you see here, I'll have in a link down below. And remember guys, we are sponsored by Current RV here on the channel. Um, I'm not sure if they get into like solar for campers and stuff, I'm sure. They're an RV dealer, so I'm sure they could get you something of that sort and probably even install it for you. So go over to their uh, website. I'll have their website down below. Also for you CF Moto owners, you know my channel's derived around CF Moto ATVs and side-by-sides. They have all the parts for you at CFMotoUSAparts.com, discount code capital redneck definitely get on over there and check them out they're super nice guys awesome and we're gonna go ahead and plug this back in just like so got green light so we're good we're gonna put a little load on it just to see another thing i did here got too much going on is the winch controller so that works that works good let's start by testing this let's plug in this light this is just an led light let's plug it in see if it works check that out guys now this light is actually broken i gotta fix it but check that out so i could actually carry this light with us on the trailer bada bing bada boom tighten that up there It'll stay, well, you know, you get the drift. But we leave that on. It's battery's down to 12.2. There's barely any sun shining to keep it charging, but this is also a deep cycle battery. That that technically I guess would be would be dead. Um now one thing we do have up here on the front is USB ports, which is not lit up. And it's actually charging, charging our phone very, very nicely, charging our phone, both ports. So that is very nice. That is very nice. And we also have a 12 volt cigarette lighter that actually is lit up blue down inside. So at night, you'll be able to take that cover off and See what you're doing. See that blue light down in there? Heck yes. See if this puppy is still shining. 
Now tomorrow what we'll do is I'll come home and I'll check it and make sure this voltage meter is saying that it's up, you know, charged. It says 12.2, it's holding there. That's what a load on it. So let's take the load off. It immediately bounces the 12.5. Yep, 12.5 volts. So yeah, that was with a load on it. That's not bad. Go ahead and close that down there. But yeah, that's pretty awesome. We can, uh, oh, you know what? This has a USB port on it also. Let's, and that USB port actually charges without this unit being turned on. So that is a nice feature. That's a real nice feature. So that's charging there. Real nice feature, guys. We do have everything ran through a fuse. Everything except for the solar panel. That's a real nice solar setup there, I would say. It looks really good, guys. Let me know what you think. Is this something you would do, or is this just something that an idiot like me would do? You definitely let me know, for sure, because I'd like to know what you guys think of this. I'll have links down below in the description to where you can get the boxes, a decent deep cycle battery, this exact solar panel, this power inverter. I actually watched a bunch of reviews on that power inverter before I bought it, so all the reviews were good. We'll see. I'm not saying rush out and buy it. I'll let you guys know later on in a few months how it's been for us. We're going to put it through the test quite a bit here coming up. So we'll definitely know what's going on there. I want to thank you guys for watching this build. I know some of you was interested in it whenever I posted it. But it was super easy to do, super simple. The hardest part was fighting the snow yesterday. And then we got rain coming today. It is what it is. But... I think that's going to work super slick, super awesome. Can't beat it. So, all right, guys. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out. God bless. Make sure to get on over and check out Current RV. Peace.